How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Now you have options when it comes to wiring your light switches and outlets around the house and your options are only increasing as time goes on. A few different products like this Leviton Decor Edge are starting to incorporate some new features which are really DIY friendly, help us save some time and also do these projects safely. And although the Decor Edge is very new, there's already another contender that I want to show you that incorporates very similar features. But first, let's go ahead and set that baseline reviewing three of the most common ways to wire an outlet and then we'll compare that to the Leviton Decor Edge and another contender to see how does that compare and contrast and is this kind of paving the way for the future of how we'll be wiring things around our house. So let's jump into it. So first up with a residential grade, this is gonna be about your cheapest outlet you could get on the market. We're gonna do what's called side wire using the side terminals. We have gold terminals here, which would be your hot conductors silver terminals on this side, neutral conductors, and then of course your green terminal, which is gonna be your bare ground. Pretty much any modern outlet now is going to have a strip gauge. So you can see a strip gauge here. This strip gauge is actually not a good indication of how much you should strip for side wiring. You probably need to go another quarter of an inch or maybe even three eighths of an inch to get the proper length. So we'll go ahead and strip down that wiring. Remember a little bit further than what you saw on that strip gauge. So most wire strippers, either on the bolt cut holes, will have a spot where you can put the wire in the strip part and make a perfect J hook. Here on the Knipix, you actually place those up top, hold those in the jaw, and then just wrap that around the jaw to get your perfect J hook if you're doing side wiring. Additionally, there are some outlets like this that actually have a small hook and remember we're going to go in the counter clockwise direction so we're able to use that hook to make our perfect j hook and then we're actually able to close that off just by over bending it a bit now this is going to be your most common way that you're going to see a outlet wired in your house it's not my preferred method but many pros swear by it just make sure that you're going in the clockwise direction and also that you don't overstrip where you have a bare conductor going past the housing. So those would be some key points that you want to avoid, but that is how you would do side wiring. So option number two, we'll go ahead and use this Decora series, and that is going to be what's called backstabbing or speed wiring. On residential grade outlets, you'll go ahead and see these holes in the back and then also small rectangles where are where you can release the wire once you insert it. And it is just that. With just 14 gauge wire, you cannot do this with 12 gauge wire. Here you actually would want to use that strip gauge. It's made to reference for speed wiring or backstabbing. And then with 14 gauge on our hot conductor side, we would just simply press that into the back and it is that easy. Huge time saver, but also one of the most common failure points right here through this method. And also I think it promotes some bad habits because you can leave your screw terminals extended out on the neutral and hot side. They're independent of the speed wiring feature and that is not best practice. You would always want to screw down each of these terminals so you don't have anything that's poking out further than the housing. So you'd want to go ahead and even though they're not really connected to speed wiring, you'd want to cinch those down. This is option two and one that I do not recommend. Option three is called back wiring. It looks a heck of a lot like backstabbing, but it is not backstabbing. Only really available on commercial grade or spec grade outlets. So this is gonna be one up from your residential grade. And basically you're using the screw terminals again. We're referencing a strip gauge here on the side, and then we're stripping the conductor down and now on our hot screw terminals, we are able to go straight in the back, but it does not just press and hold. Instead, you do need to tighten down that screw terminal. And what it's doing, it's pulling a plate in and, and pinching that wire. So that is how the wire is being held in there. It is actually pinching that wire. So it is not the same as backstabbing. This has been my recommendation in terms of DIYers and my preferred 
Legrand commercial grade receptacle and my preferred method of wiring. But now let's look at those new options. So what is that future? What is the new ways to wire these devices that are starting to become more and more prevalent? Now, a couple months back, I highlighted the Leviton Decora Edge that incorporates levers instead of screw terminals, and then you pass the wire in kind of like backstabbing, and the lever closes and does a much better job than backstabbing at securing that wire within your actual outlet. And if done right, you have no exposed screw terminals and no exposed copper in any of your conductors. So it's a super slick design. But there is a new contender and this is Hubble. Again, we do not have any screw terminals, but it has more like releases that are a little harder to see, but we'll focus in and compare and contrast these two. Now, the interesting thing about Hubble. I just did a poll on my channel and I asked the audience, what is your favorite brand? Is it Eaton? Is it Leviton? Is it Hubble? Is it Legrand? Or is it no preference? Leviton was by far the most popular with over half the votes saying Leviton. The second place was no preference. So what does that mean? That just means, hey, whatever's at the store, I'm going to grab it and use it for my project. The lowest, the last choice was Hubble. The thing is, that's probably because just awareness. When you talk to pros that have a lot of great experience in the field, Hubble is one of their first choices. They love the quality and they've trusted these products for decades and often seen the fewest defects come from Hubble in the field. So let's focus in and look side by side in these two new options. So I really do think this is the direction in terms of wiring in the US and Canadian markets. This is your Leviton Decora Edge. Already did a video on that, but we're gonna be comparing that side by side with the Hubble Edge Connect. You gotta love the marketing departments at these big corporations. Both somehow went with Edge in their branding. Now this Leviton Decora Edge, I'm a big fan of. It was only available online through Home Depot, but now I do find it locally in stock at my Home Depot. Mostly 15 amp outlets, but also you'll find single pole and three-way light switches, all in the style of Decora, so you won't find like a duplex outlet, at least at this time. Now, maybe why I like this, because I'm such a fan of the Wago lever nuts, just using these levers, passing your conductor in, and then closing the levers for a secure connection across the bus bar. I've been using these and recommending these for years, and this is a very, very similar style with this Decora Edge where you just pass your 14 or 12 gauge in, you close that lever, and now you are securely held. No screw terminal showing, little different than what we're used to. You have your ground on your hot conductor side. Usually, we would be used to seeing the ground on the neutral side. They also incorporated kind of this plastic housing built-in spacing so everything would line up nicely with your face plate. And then they gave you a little bit extra to help catch the drywall just in case somebody overcut your electrical box. This would help you line up and be flush with the drywall surface and then everything line up. You do need to break these off depending on the size of your face plate, but it's easy to break off without any issue. So everything on the Hubble Edge Connect is really grouped up around the center line here with your neutrals on one side, your hots on the other, and your ground here. Orientation is really unconventional. It's going to be something unique to this Hubble Edge Connect. But overall, the wiring is similar, but there is some differences. So if I passed, it's just going to set into place until you actually shift this over and then that will lock it in place. It really snaps. So it snaps down. Now, now your wire is held. To get that released, it is actually a little inconvenient. There's this cradle that's built in here. So it's right by your wire. You gotta kind of shift your wire out of the way and that cradle is gonna hold a small flathead where then you can hook, pull up, and then release the wire. It's a little finicky. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get that. And do you have a small flathead on you? I usually do not. That's gonna be easy to grab on to this release and get to stay up in that disengaged location. All right, so really taking a closer look, I removed that black housing so we can actually see the contacts and the springs that hold it in place. So now you can see when I pass that conductor in, it's just sitting in place. 
until we release this and then that spring will release applying the pressure that's going to hold it into place. I do like their mechanism here. It is very secure. I think it would hold up for years and years and in their marketing literature it does say it stands up to vibrations much better than a standard side wire outlet and I would believe it with that spring applying that force over time that will continue to give you a secure hold. And then for the release you got to kind of pull up and get it to stay there. It is a little finicky, like I said before. It'll kind of snap back down on you. But once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Now, the Hubble Edge Connect is just being released. I can't really find it for sale anywhere. And Hubble, in general, is going to be harder to get a hold of, usually sold through the professional supply houses in your local area to your licensed electricians. The Lowe's, Home Depot's, and Menards in my area, they do not really carry Hubble, at least for the outlets and light switches. Now, once they do become available, I will update the link in the description below the video for you guys as reference if you want some for your own projects. Let me know what you think, the Leviton Decora Edge or the Hubble Edge Connect. So Leviton or Hubble or no, I'm sticking with my traditionals. I don't really like those. For me, I like commercial grade outlets. So the Legrand commercial grade has been my go-to, but the Leviton Decor Edge I do like, and I am interested to see where they take this product line. I have a few of their Decor light switches installed and I'm just putting them to the test and use them daily to see if they hold up and if I like them over the years. Now, if you guys want to see the actual internals, I did a different video, cut it open with my Dremel tool and looked at the actual guts of this Leviton Decora Edge. You can check out that video right there. Now I'll walk you through the complete breakdown of this exact outlet. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.